You don't think maybe we should do an off-camera test run first? You know, so we don't, like, accidentally kill a bunch of creatures on the internet? Hi, whatever, Jerry, it's your fucking thing. You're the boss, mate. You, uh, I don't know. Hey there, kids. Oh, it's blurry. But it's also me, Safari Sam. And today, we're doing a bit of an unboxing. Ah, fuck, I missed. Anyway, we're unboxing these. Troyesic Triops! I'm out of breath because of all the masturbating. Anyway, uh, Toy Ops here made this Triassic Triops set, which is a starter kit for hatching and raising your own Triops, who aren't as freakish looking as this artistic depiction, but uh, they are quote unquote prehistoric creatures that are relatively easy to rise. Uh, you see, it says here that they can live 20 to 90 days. So about three months is their max life cycle. So don't get too attached. Understood. But uh, it can still be very satisfying raising them. And it shows you like a size chart, how big they can get here. And you know, some simplified instructions and whatnot. But according to the box, Jurassic Triops are actual prehistoric creatures who are quote-unquote identical to their prehistoric kin, but not really. They survived the centuries during intrepid states of suspended animation or diapause. This state of suspended animation enables the Troyops to survive seasonal drought and Triassic Troyops permits you to grow and study, because that's definitely what people are going to do, the behavior of an amazing creature that hasn't changed in millions of years. I hate it when people say something hasn't changed for millions of years. It changed. I guarantee you it changed, because that's how evolution works. And these eggs are lab raised, so you don't have to worry about them being harvested from the wild. Uh, but these are those little fuckers that crashed Burning Man or whatever. Anyway, I kind of already peeked at the instructions a little, but I haven't looked at anything else. So yeah, it does come with instructions which are decently detailed, though I have looked up some extra stuff to do online to kind of make sure that this ship actually works. And it does come with a lot of things, it seems. It comes with this little plastic dish to raise the triops in. We won't, ah, uh, we won't be using this. We'll be using this dusty old hag. Don't worry, we're gonna wash the bitch out. But, uh, I'm also going to take all that stuff out, all that coloured gravel's not going to be in there. Uh, I might leave the shell, that might be fun. But all that other stuff's coming out. It, it is. This is from, this just, you know, this is from a store where you bought this and then you could, you, you'd get hermit crabs with it. Uh, and I needed it to transport them anyway. And I've just had it. So, you know, you got the little critters. You gotta, you've got to keep the critters, mate. The critters! But yeah, this will get washed out and uh, all that gravel's probably gonna get dumped because I'm never gonna use that gravel for anything. But yeah, you've got... What's that over here? Ah! Some kind of... Oh, an info sheet. Educational facts about the Triops when they lived how their biology works. They are called Triops because of the three eyes. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe we can go through that later. Because this is going to be more than one video, just FYI, because we are going to try raising these Triops. Uh, I do, I want this to be a thing that we do now. Raising little critters. And hopefully we can uh, do it easily enough. I mean, these are supposed to be pretty easy to raise. Uh, they give us this dropper I hardly know of for food and moving stuff around without directly touching it. Here, this is cool, it's a little thermometer. We're supposed, supposed, supposed to peel the back off and stick it under the cheap plastic garbage that came with this to raise the triops in. Yes, but for me, I'm gonna stick it onto the side 
of our little friend here. That's kosher mate. That's Ace Memes YOLO. Because we're not gonna use that other one, because if I use that other one, B3's cat's just gonna fucking drink out of it and tip it over, right? She's gonna drink up all the little the little guys we're trying to raise here. All right, that looks like our kind of limestone that we're supposed to post to post to have. And then that's, ooh. Okay, this one is baby food for the triops with, and this is true, a side of sauce. Fun. And then this is the big boy food. We don't have enough of it, we're gonna have to get more because they're gonna lay eggs and they don't need a mate to lay eggs. And I do want to harvest the eggs and raise more. I think that'll be fun, all right? What is this? Oh, eggs in sand. And this is the limestone. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can see the little puppers in there. So that's eggs in sand and the limey, limey limestone. Rinse stones with bottled water before use. Add one stone to hatching dish. Add two stones to larger tank. Okay. Okay. Use it in your stock water for water changes. Good, 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 good. I can do that, All right? So, we're gonna have to do several things here. So, our little tank here is rinsed and cleaned out. Make sure you don't use any fucking soap. Any of that residue could really just keep your eggs from hatching. It could kill your little critters. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. We're gonna have to place it in bright light, preferably in both fluorescent and natural light. Uh, the adult tank will have fluorescent when it comes in, but right now we're just gonna have natural light for the babes, okay? So we gotta fill it with some natural water, bottled natural spring water, and we're supposed to let it sit for 24 hours before adding eggum schmegums, which should be pretty easy. But we're also supposed to add some detris. Now this isn't in the instructions, but it's something I've seen in videos online. You want to give them a few little leafy queefies. Yeah, there's like three. And then crush some up. Really get just a few crushed up little guys. That'll help. So, I might end up adding more eventually, but right now that should be okay for what we're trying to do. Just based on what I've seen, it's not like I got my degree in fucking triops. <laughs> I got it in pussy. <laughs> I definitely didn't drop out, if that's what you're thinking. Anyhow, uh, you stick the thermometer on, which we already did, and water temperature is supposed to be maintained between 74 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, or 23 degrees Celsius and 29 degrees Celsius if you're a normal person. So that should be pretty easy to do, all things considered. Chug, 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 chug. Not filling it to the brim quite yet. Maybe should have got some heavier leaves. Yeah, might have to go outside and try to find some new ones that'll actually stay on the bottom. I think we're supposed to have kind of a layer thing going on. But perhaps they'll also settle, just like my ex-wife settled for me. And then years later unsettled for me via horrific divorce. So, a little bit of time has passed. That's pretty kosher, that's pretty ace, that's pretty yellow. But, as you can see, we have filled it with water. Uh, right there is where our temperature sticker is. Probably should have put it in the front where you guys can see it. But it is right at where it's supposed to be. We have filled it with more water, as I said. At least I think I said that. I don't know. I'm really thirsty. And I don't have a lot of money. Uh, the shell we were going to put in there, I decided not to. Uh, I had some cool partial shells from shell hunting in Gulf Shores, Alabama. You got this oyster shell. Let's flip that puppy. See some of that dextrous is starting to sink there. Some of those leaves starting to sink a little. Uh, you know, just a nice little... 
Oh, what's that little guy? Cute little shell for the friends there to swim around in. And then this like, looks kind of conchy. Just put that puppy right in there as well. Let's make it kind of a little cave. Oh, that's cool. See, I've got it on top of this picture of my ex-wife here uh, to kind of level it out. Too bad we couldn't level out her menopause. Anyway, let's continue looking at our happy little instruction sheet, shall we? Okay. We still got a lot to do. Now remember, we're supposed to add about half of our limestones to the tank. I've separated them to about half and I'm gonna try to spread them around a little. So like three on all parts of the center, three on all parts of each side. There we go. Right in the corner. <laughs> oh, oh, just little limestones everywhere for our favorite little pals. Everybody loves them uh, and I can't wait for them to hatch. I'm hoping they actually do hatch. You know, it, you can get a lot of non-hatchies. It can be a difficult process. We might, there might be a learning curve. Seriously, we might have to start over and try again. But hopefully, you know, not. That would be not coach for me, you see? So, what's next on the agenda? How about we add our goddamn eggs? So, we're going to open our bag of eggum schmegums and then pour it into the tank. So, these Triops eggs aren't just mixed with sand, but also key nutrients that they need to survive and grow. And we're also going to put this whole bag in there and try to spread them all out. Ooh, that's a lot of babies. There we go, sink those leaves. Come on, come on, come on now. Okay, this is working out, this is working out. Get a nice, good coating. Try to make it relatively even. And there we are. Triops, egg sand and nutrients within. Now here's a bird's eye view of our tank. Hopefully we can sink more leaves and whatnot in the future. That I think would be very fun, very coach, very ace. I really do want to raise more of these beautiful, beautiful creatures. Now, we're not gonna need to feed for about 72 hours. Quite a while, but the eggs will hopefully begin to hatch in 20 hours and continue to hatch for up to five days. Now, if temperatures fall below 74 degrees Fahrenheit, it might take a little longer to hatch, but I'm working on it, you know? And, you know, as the days go on and water starts to evaporate, eggs might get stuck to the side of the tank. I'll use that little pipette they gave us to gently add some fresh water to it. Don't push them off. And you can drip the water directly onto the eggs, clinging on the tank. And it's natural for them to float around, as you can kind of see here, maybe. Very, very happy. And I will be counting all of our tiny little bebes. Very happy to see these little critters. That is it for today, everyone. There will be regular updates on our little triops as they hatch and grow. There will be episodes just on the triops themselves. And there will also be episodes maybe where we just check up on them at the end of a safari sand. Maybe one of the episodes where we just look at a specimen. We recently looked at some fossils. We got more fossils coming up. And hopefully, dopefully, uh, this will be a good little hatchery. I think it will be. I think it'll be a very nice little place for critters. Uh, I do want to try to get some of those leaves to sink, but other than that, I'm actually very happy with it. I think we're doing a pretty good job based on what I've seen. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'm going to pop the lid back on this puppy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.